Okay, so this is just a, this is a, this is an interesting case. There's a 69 year old gentleman who presented with obstructive jaundice. And I am going to scroll on the CT images first. Just show you an axial. So start at the top and then I see biliary dilation and then something in the region of the hilum. And then actually, this is reminding me of one of Gitanjali's cases <laughs> where it looks like maybe there's some expansile thing in the CBD. Right. So, so the bile duct for tissue. Right. So does everybody see there's a soft tissue which is completely within the CBD, right? And so this is the, the reason why I was trying to show it last time was Anu showed a similar case the week before. And when she was showing that case, we remembered that uh, Gitanjali and I, we are all from the same institute. So <laughs> we remembered that we had a similar case last month. So this is also, this was biopsy proven case of um, moderately differentiated HCC. Oh, wow. So this was, um, uh, how do I drag this one second? I'm gonna just draw, drag this here. So can you guys see my screen still or can you see the PowerPoint or you yes. cannot? Yeah, okay, but it so. is cut off on the right hand side. But um, did you guys think initially it was like either the, in this sort of IPNB, yeah, that's perfect. IPNB introductory She's a doctor spectrum. spectrum. Oh, yeah, she's, so. she's in her room. Oh, office. Kelly, I can or, hear you. Sorry, I'm going to mute myself. Yeah, no, so um, actually we thought, or, or rather I thought that it was going to be a cholangiocarcinoma um, with, um, or an IPNB, but they did an EUS and, uh, and they, they found that it was a moderately differentiated HCC. So this was a similar case that Anu had shown. It, was, it is also called an icteric hepatoma. And they think it is because of migration of tumor thrombi within the um, bile ducts. And they've basically, there are, there are just case reports around and there are multiple case reports, but they're all like one or two cases. And they say that the tumor may grow continuously filling the entire extrahepatic with a solid cast of tumor or a fragment of necrotic tumor may separate from the proximal interductal growth and migrate to the distal bile duct causing obstruction or it may be hemorrhage from the tumor, which may fill the biliary duct. So it was something that we really didn't even know. Um, and so it was kind of an interesting thing. The one thing that, that we saw, um, I was trying to pull that. Hey there, can I ask you a question? This is Anu here. Yes. This is pretty extensive, isn't it? Is, was there any component in the parenchyma or was all the soft tissue limited to the biliary uh, system. It was all limited to the biliary system. Wow. And so this is the one component that I thought may have been parenchyma. Mm. But if you see on the, on the T1 weighted images, it is hyper intense on right. the in and out of face. So I think that's mm. like inspissated bile mm -hmm. within uh, dilated ducts at that, in that area. Mm. Nice. So I was just like a literally after you showed that case last week, this came up. So. Did you not give it in the differential then? Nope. No, this was <laughs> read kidding. a month back. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 <laughs> this was read a month back. So. Okay. All right. So that's my Susan case. Susan is asking if there were, um, if it was hypervascular and Amr is asking, are there any specific imaging features? Uh, nope. Absolutely not. There, there are not. I mean, I still don't know how I'm going to make this diagnosis. Process. Yeah, I mean, it's an LRM, right? Like you, we can't say it's, it's, yeah, it's LRM. Would you have, so, didn't have no. used LIRADS here? Like, yeah, that's, that's so this patient question. actually was not, did not have um, hepatitis C or B, uh, hepatitis B or cirrhosis when he came in. So we couldn't really LIRADS it either. And also if something is limited to the biliary system, we wouldn't, Lyrads it, I guess. Meaning we need something parenchymal to Lyrads it. That's true. Right. Yeah. And one addition to this was 
I agree. If it's only introductory, there's no specific features. But when I was reading up for my case, uh, you know, like I mentioned last time, somewhere in the literature I read that if there is a component in the parenchyma adjacent to the bile ducts where this tumor extends, it can at times show imaging features like an HCC, meaning um, arterial hyperenhancement and washout. And that can give you a clue that this is an HCC going into the bile ducts. But if it is isolated like your case, um, Kedar, then it's very hard. Right. And so this was an outside MRI. So unfortunately, the question was, was it hypervascular? There was no contrast given. It was just like an MRCP study. So, um, and on the CT, we have just a portal venous phase. So really couldn't see hypervascularity. Cool. Good follow-up. 